Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Overhaul HD Adjustable Truck Bed Ladder Rack System here on our 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 3500. Now what makes this unique is that this ladder rack is designed to be used in tandem with select tunnel covers. We've got ours working with our Retrax Pro XR hard tunnel cover here today. So you can see as I open it up, everything's going to work together. We can still utilize the tunnel cover here. It'll roll up into the canister as it's designed to do, but we still have all of the accessibility for our ladder rack up here. It's gonna mount to these existing T-Track channels here on the tunnel cover and we can adjust it back and forth and all the height adjustment is controllable on the ladder rack itself. So we can move this around to fit our needs, put something like a tent or a kayak up top, put all of our belongings and our precious cargo in the bed, lock it up, and everything's gonna work together really well. This system is gonna utilize Yakima's HD bars up top. They're gonna be really sturdy bars here. Everything's really solid up top. We've got these integrated tie down points on the end caps as well as rubber stripping on the top to reduce wind noise. But if we remove that or cut it to length, we can install T-Track accessories up here to get those accessories on rather than a clamp around style, or you can get clamp around accessories too. Additional tie down points can be found on the uprights of the ladder rack here. So it's really easy to get all of your gear secured when it's up here. Plenty of points to tie down on. And these ones down here even have a spot for a bottle opener pretty signature of Yakima's design, so you can crack open a cold one with your friends. Even though this is a really capable system, there are gonna be limitations. With this tunnel cover, it does have a 500 pound weight capacity and that's evenly distributed. But with the ladder rack mounted on top, the ladder rack is going to have a 300 pound weight capacity on road and a 180 pound capacity off road. And that's dynamic weight, that's moving around. So that's just for when you're driving down the road or driving off road. You don't want that load to be over those limits. So if you do decide to put something like a tent up here, it's okay to climb in at night when you're static and still you're gonna have that higher capacity. One thing Yakima does advise against though is bringing these crossbars in narrower than 36 inches. So that crossbar spread that we've got now is around 56. If we were to bring this in narrower for something like a bike rack that maybe we do need a narrower crossbar spread. That weight capacity is gonna drop down and Yakima does advise against it, so just be mindful of that. You'll notice on the front and rear uprights here, we are gonna have some locks. These are designed to just keep the uprights locked in place. So as long as that one's locked and this one's locked, no one can get these uprights loosened fully and off of the cover. So it is going to be secure. On the driver's side here for the front and the rear, we've got a lock core on either side. So this is going to be just so that no one can fully loosen up these uprights and slide them off of the bed. We've got one lock on the rear, one on the front, and no matter what, as long as those are on there and secured, you can't get this fully loosened and removed. As far as those adjustments go, it's gonna be really easy to do. Yakima includes all the tools to get it attached and adjusted, and we'll cover those adjustment points a little bit more in detail in the install. But basically there's two bolts underneath on each upright here, attaching to the crossbar, and then four bolts on each upright. I've got all of them but this one here loosened. So you just wanna loosen all of those. And that's going to allow us to adjust this up and down. I'll set that down on the bed there. But basically we can lift this up to that maximum height that one bolt actually was loosened all the way and fell out, but you can reattach it really easily. So you can adjust it up or down. And as you do that, it is going to, of course, adjust on the crossbar. As you can kind of see towards the bottom here, you can set your side to side on the crossbar so you can get it nice and even. So maybe low down for something like a tent here or up high for something like lumber, ladder, or maybe a kayak. It's really up to you and what you're gonna be hauling with this. Let's say you need access to the bed for something like a camper that's gonna attach in here. You can remove this. You can unlock the lock, take that off, and then undo the nut right here. We've got two on the passenger side, one on the driver's side here. And we can undo those, as well as undoing the little locking stud that has a little Allen key head on it right there. 
So just remove those and the washers underneath. Pretty quick and easy. Everything up top can stay fully tightened down so that it's ready to go for next time for the positioning you had it in before. And once those are off, all you gotta do is just take the whole assembly and lift it up and away. I'm just gonna set it in the bed for right now. And then the actual threaded attachment points can just easily slide out of the rails like that. Then whenever you're ready to install it again, slide them back in, pop this back down and re-thread on those nuts. And here's what our ladder rack might look like with some actual cargo loaded up. We've got our kayak and the J-style carrier on the end here, and we've got the ladder on the other side, utilizing those built-in tie-down points we checked out earlier, all while still retaining the functionality of our tidal cover, so everything can stay underneath and covered up underneath, and all of our other cargo that's kind of oversized, maybe wouldn't fit in here, can stay above and secured up there. And the best part about all of this is the install is very straightforward. As long as you've got that tunnel cover that you can attach this to, it's gonna be a simple installation. Check out how we did it. Right now we've got most of our uprights for our ladder rack installed. The front one is already set up closest to the cab. That's where the customer wanted it set up. So for us, we just have to figure out where we want this back one. We're gonna get everything installed loosely first though, starting with these larger T-bolts. You're gonna have two different sizes depending on the type of tile cover you have, but for our Retrax Pro, we are gonna be using these larger ones. There's gonna be a channel at the end here where we just slide them in. It's all open right there. We don't have to remove any parts. And we can just kind of set them loosely in place. Right about there looks good. And then we can take our upright. Now for the uprights, they are gonna be side specific. So this is gonna sit kind of on the rail right there. We want this cross brace right here facing inward. So on the front one, they're facing backwards. On this back one, they're facing towards the cab. And then we want that logo outwards, so it's kind of curving in like this. Along with the uprights, we are gonna have this rubber base pad here. I'm just gonna kind of slot this into the base of the upright. Before I get it all put on, it'll kind of just sit around there semi-loosely. Once we get all the hardware through, that'll hold it down. Right there though, you can see how it all kind of fits around. And then I'm just gonna drop this over our bolts that we dropped in the T-tracks there. Just gotta get those to line up with the holes on the base bracket there. And you can see the threads popping up. We'll follow that up here with our flat washers. We'll just put one over each of those threads. And then we're gonna have our threaded nut and then on the driver's side here, we also have this threaded portion here for a lock. We're gonna thread this over this front one and put the nut here, kind of between the upright and the brace. I'm gonna leave these loose for right now so we can actually set our front to back distance, figure out our crossbar spread and where we want this to sit. Now your crossbar spread is gonna vary based on what you're planning on doing with this ladder rack. If you're wanting to put some lumber or something up here, you probably want it a little bit further apart. If you're maybe looking to haul a bike with a bike rack up here or a kayak, maybe you want them a little bit closer together, depending on the size of your kayak and stuff like that. But you will want to kind of look at your accessories and determine that. For us today, we're gonna just see where this is sitting at right here. It kind of looks like a good spread. We're sitting right around 56 inches, so I'm gonna set it up right here. We've got a lot of room to work with and we can always adjust it later but to figure out the actual distance between the pads here, I'm just gonna measure between the two inner edges, kind of get that lined up. That's looking like 29 and a half inches right there. So I'm gonna actually tighten this one down, go to the other side, get that same measurement between these two pads here, and then tighten that one down too. We can tighten those down with the provided Allen wrench here on that locking tab. And then for the nut right here, we're also going to have a 13 millimeter wrench that we'll need to use. And we can use that to tighten this one down. Now on the other side, we're just gonna have those nuts, so we'll just need the wrench. And once everything's tightened down, we can go back through and fully tighten this down too. We can add our lock and repeat that on the other side. And that lock will just sit right on top. 
take our provided key and twist that to lock it up right there. Now, no one can just come by and take this upright off of the rails here. Next, we need to set the height of our ladder rack. Now, this is, again, gonna kind of be determined by what you're gonna be putting up here. If you're putting a rooftop tent, you don't need to max this thing out. But if you want something along like a kayak or lumber, it is going to be handy to have it extend above your cab. So you can have the cargo extend over the cab as well. Our customer today wants it just to clear the cab. So we've already got that front one set. We just need to match this one. And to do that, we're going to be loosening these two bolts on the outside using our provided Allen wrench. And there's gonna be two matching ones on the inside. Once those are all loosened up, we're free to make any height adjustments we need to with this upright. With those all loose, we can see everything moves freely here. So we can just get it set to our proper height and tighten these back down. Anywhere from 19 all the way to the lowest up to 30 inches tall. Now, there are measurements on the inside edge here. Now on this inside edge here, it may be hard to see on camera. We do have all of these measurement lines marked out by each quarter inch. So we can actually get that height set properly and accurately with the assistance of those markings. So for ours today, I'm gonna to set it to match that front crossbar right at that 24 mark. I'll just put it here, hold it in place while I tighten down these bolts, making sure everything stays aligned. And once that's been done on both sides, we're ready to move on. Moving on to the crossbars here, we can just flip them upside down and come to the end caps. There's gonna be a small Allen bolt in there that we can just undo with the included tool. And that's gonna allow us to remove the end cap. Maybe a little hard to get that out from the channel by hand. So once you got it loosened, you can usually just kind of pop it out. You may need to get that tool back in there just to get it loose in that last little bit. And then we can pop that end cap off and slide in two of these threaded plates to that channel underneath. Now I'm just gonna move these towards the middle of the bar for right now. We'll adjust them later. And while we're under here, you can maybe see we've got the same sort of markings here for our distance measurements. And again, I know these are probably hard to see on camera, but in real life, they are easy to see. They'll help us determine the actual distance of our crossbar, make sure everything's even. So just be mindful of those underneath. Then we can just reinstall our end cap with that same screw and get it up onto the uprights. Now setting it in place here, it's gonna kind of drop in pretty smooth like that. And from here, I'm just gonna go and peek underneath and see where those measurements are lining up at. This one's sitting at 42, it looks like. Yep, right at 42. And then this one here is about 42 and three quarters. So I know it needs to scoot this way just a little bit. So just make those adjustments, get everything nice and centered to where you'd like it. And then we can move those threaded plates from the middle where we have them right underneath and in line with the uprights. To get that threaded plate secured, we're going to have these Allen bolts here, a lock washer and a flat washer. There'll be two for each side. So two over here, two over there. And we're just gonna go straight up through the upright and into that threaded plate in the crossbar. Outermost one is a little more recessed, so getting it started with the tool is definitely easier than trying to fit your fingers up in there and get it to thread. You might need to, depending on if it's cooperating or not. Let's see, just wanna get that one to catch. Once both plates are started on both sides, we can just tighten everything down to secure those crossbars and make sure everything is nice and solid. Once everything's installed, I always like to go back through and just give it the old shake test, make sure there aren't any loose or rattling parts at any point. We did have a lot of bolts in there that we had to tighten down and secure. So I just like to make sure that everything's solid and it definitely feels that way right now. So I'd say we're good to go. 
So not only do we have a fully functional adjustable ladder rack system, able to go back and forth along our bed, height adjust wherever we need it, but we also have it working in tandem with our tile cover so we can keep all of our belongings secured in the bed and all of the oversized items up top, like a kayak, a tent, something like that, that we don't necessarily want to put in the bed of the truck. And it's all working together in a really nice, clean system. But overall, that'll do it for our look at the Yakima Overhaul truck bed ladder rack here on our 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 3500. Thanks for watching.